Hi, welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 54, and it's a very special episode because I have my sister, Nicole DiDonato, here in town in the Metro Detroit area. She lives in Evansville, Indiana, so she's here to join me to help me with this recipe. Uh, Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, and it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they're made, and you can make it happen if you watch this. So, um, but thanks for joining us today. We are doing fat-free raspberry lemon cheesecake bites. Nicole, do you like cheesecake? Oh, I like cheesecake. I'm <laughs> a big sweet tooth, Jenny knows that. So, <laughs> she greeted me with one of these things when I came home the other night. Very good. Yeah, I was yeah they're really good. Mm -hmm. they really are. good, and just to let you guys know, I said fat-free, but these are virtu virtually fat-free because there is less than a half a gram of fat in them, so I figured we're gonna basically call them fat-free, and they're sugar-free as well. So for if you're diabetic, these are a great recipe for you to make and, they're and a good share. Size too, Very know, good for size, exactly. Size, so. so we're gonna get started right now. First thing that we did, what I did is I preheated the oven for 325, um, preheated for about 15 minutes. The ingredients that we're gonna be using right now, of course, my staple is always egg whites, mm -hmm. eggs. So I have about four eggs right here. You're gonna use uh, one whole egg and three egg whites. Now actually while I'm doing this, Nicole, can you just open up those cream cheeses? Uh, while I'm doing the egg whites, Nicole's gonna open up the cream cheese packets. You're gonna need two eight ounce packages of fat-free cream cheese. I know it sounds familiar, right? Because I use fat-free cream cheese all the time. So we have those waiting in the wings for just a moment. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take uh, the eggs, I'm gonna mix in uh, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Um, it was my uh, wedding shower a few days ago and I didn't go through all my goodies yet so I still, um, everyone knows how I've lost my tablespoon measuring oh, okay. so I'm just gonna use um, two of the half tablespoons right here. Okay, next thing you're gonna use, what is this Nicole? Splenda. Splenda, that's our best friend. Um, you're gonna use a half a cup of Splenda. Now for those of you out there who aren't into artificial sweeteners or don't like Splenda, like Nicole kind of prefers what, equal? I usually use equal. Yeah, yeah, so it's all in what you prefer. I mix it for about two minutes. Okay. So Nicole, why don't you plop in the cream cheese now into that? <clears throat> yeah, just plop it on in there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take a sugar-free packet of lemon jello and just gonna throw it in. Toss it in. Now the next one we're gonna do, which um, gives it even more of a cheesecake flavor, is sugar-free cheesecake pudding. I didn't even know they made it. I didn't either. So. I didn't even know they made it. Oh, good. I know, it, it's really awesome. And, and, and for those of you out there who wanna watch your calorie intake and who have a sweet tooth, I mean, I totally stand by the whole sugar-free, fat-free jellos. They're just awesome. So we got it in there, and we're just gonna mix it all up until it's really creamy, just like a regular cream cheese um, mixture. Smells like cheesecake, so. Um, so I'm just gonna mix it now, right, right here, uh, just with a spatula, just kind of fold it to get any parts that were, um, you know, not fully mixed in there. Okay, so we have that all set. Now what we're gonna do, let's gonna move this on over, is grab uh, muffin tins. This makes a serving of 18, okay? So what I did, oh, these are my new Calphalon pins, by the way, nonstick, thank you. Got to send out my you are thank you cards. I'm officially an adult. <laughs> um, so we have 18 right here. What I'm going to do is take some nonstick spray, and I'm just going to spray lightly on the bottom of each paper, cupcake paper, and just take uh, about two tablespoons worth right here and just plop it on in. Now, when you're coming up with these recipes or making them, how many times do you have to make them in order for them to actually work or whatnot? Like when, um, you're, when you're thinking these up, though. Well, a lot of times, you know, like you got the protein pancake ones, which were like tried and true favorite. Yeah. So those, you know, I'll modify through the years. And other ones, it's like I have all these ingredients that I typically use in all of my recipes, and I wonder, well, what can I make with them? And so I do experiment. Maybe about once or twice, I will need to um, to try it again. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we have all the mixtures in. Have them all in their little tins right here. Right now, we're gonna put them in the oven. 
We're going to set the timer for 30 minutes, but I'm going to want you to check on them um, periodically just to make sure that it's browning okay. All right. Now, while those are cooking, I had Nicole bring out the raspberries right here. Um, these are frozen raspberries. You can get them anywhere. I Nicole, those you like them a lot. I put them on my oatmeal and, um, in the mornings for my oats. So, yeah. I'm a big fan of raspberries. And they're cheaper sometimes than fresh fruit in these things. So. Exactly. Like, we're, we're big advocates of, of buying, you know, the frozen yeah. fruits and things like that because it, then it won't go bad and you'll eat it. So, I'm going to have you put a cup into a saucepan, just like that, frozen, like I said. Try to throw those in there. And Nicole is going to put Ooh, some sugar free raspberry jello mix in here as well. Okay. So while that's in there, and now you're just going to put it on the stove for, um, put it on like low because what I want this to do is going to melt down and it's going to make a gel uh, like raspberry topping for our little cheesecake bites. Hmm? So we're gonna wait for that to melt down and we'll be checking on the cheesecake bites bites and then they'll be ready to eat. Mm. Okay, so we are all set. The timer went off. I added about five minutes because I peeked at them. They weren't browning as fast as I wanted them to, so I put them in for a total of 35 minutes. So opening it up right now. Bring them out. Here we are. Here's what one of these looks like. It's like a little souffle type thing. Yeah, a little souffle. Put all these little mini cheesecakes, you're gonna cool them for about a half an hour and then you're gonna stick them in the refrigerator uh, for another hour or two because you wanna make sure they're nice and cool. And then when they're done, just take them on out and you can put the raspberry filling or the topping right on top. So it's gonna taste delicious and you're gonna have a healthy, nutritious um, meal, I'm sorry, not meal, but actually treat with the raspberry on top. And now guys, these only contain 45 calories per serving. Can you believe it? A half a gram of fat, if that, um, about eight carbohydrates, and only two grams of sugar and five and a half grams of protein. Mm -hmm. Because with the protein in it, that comes from the sugar-free, um, uh, the fat-free cream cheese. Yeah. So it's just packed full of, of, um, of goodness and protein, and I think that people will enjoy them. Um, so thanks so much for joining us today. Check out madefittv.com for the recipe at the bottom. You know, you can watch this video and also for the recipe at the bottom and all the nutrition uh, facts on there. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm also on um, Facebook. I'm, I got my, uh, got my username, Nicole. Yeah. Did you get yours? No, I didn't. You didn't get yours? Yeah, you might yeah. still be able to. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many Nicole Dinanos there are mm -hmm. out there. But I'm Jenny DiDonato on Facebook, and I'm Jenny DiDonato mm -hmm. on Twitter as well. And um, you can even email me through MadeFitTV.com and ask mm -hmm. Jenny. And we're also on YouTube. And subscribe to us. We're on iTunes. You can just subscribe. We're everywhere. Yeah, we are everywhere. You can't get away from us. So, <laughs> But we're on iTunes. You can subscribe. It'll pop up right on your iPod. Hey, listen to us at the gym. Watch us uh, at the gym or when you're in the airport, on a plane. You can learn a lot of good stuff. So, But thanks so much. I hope you guys comment on this. Let me know how you think about it. It's a good summer treat. I think it's something that would be good for, mm -hmm. uh, for Father's Day, which yeah. is this weekend, mm -hmm. or um, any other... One of the many other events that are coming Graduation parties you got going on, so. Yeah, they're a good treat. Good for diabetics. So thanks so much for joining us for this week from MadeFitTV.com. And uh, check out our store as well. Get a t-shirt. We'll mm -hmm. see you next time. Time to dig in. So now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my raspberries and put it right on there. See? So it makes it look nice and good. It gives a little color. And this is, these are your, um, fat-free raspberry lemon uh, cheesecake bites. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Mm. It's good, it's got that tartness of the raspberry.